Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been highly requested and that is to show you how I have organized our bedroom. If you are new to my channel and this is your first video that you're seeing of me, I am a single mom temporarily living with my own mom and me and my three kids share one bedroom and the bedroom is not very big at all and I do want to say that we all have beds. My kids have toys. We all have full-size wardrobes. So I really had to be intentional and conscious of how I've organized. And I really think that the methods that I have used can be applied to anybody's situation, big or small. If you live in a small space, a big space, I think that it can benefit anyone. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna give you a tour of the room. I do have a little co-star today. She's gonna be joining us. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up and go ahead and give you guys a tour. And then I will see you again at the end. All right, so I actually ended up having to put her in the wrap, but let's go ahead and get on with this tour. I'm just gonna kind of give you a general tour of the room and then I'm gonna show you how I store away our clothes and the boys' toys. So this is walking in the doorway and I've got my bed there. I've got my youngest baby's bed there. And then right here, I have my two boys and you know i really hate bunk beds but i needed to utilize the vertical space in this room so that's why i went with bunk bed and excuse that top one it's not made i didn't even bother making it before uh we got these bunk beds we just had a full-size mattress on the floor and it was taking up over half the room so we got rid of that mattress and just like I said, utilized the vertical space and did bunk beds. And I'll have everything that I mentioned in this video that I can find links for. I'll have it in the description box below. Um, their bedding and everything came from Target. I'll try to link that if I can find it. All right, so right here with the bookshelf, we obviously keep books and I do use it for some extra toy storage, things like that. So I'll start here on top. Got this sign from Hobby Lobby. I've got an old diffuser just to help them relax at bedtime. I've got some of my Simply Earth Sweet Dreams blend there. And right here on top, I actually found this basket at Walmart. I really like the colors of it. And I thought that it matched our room perfectly. Inside, I just keep all of my little girl's bows and socks. All of her little accessories like that are stored in there. Right here in this bin, I just have a few extra toys. And I'll show you in a second what I do with the majority of their toys, but this bin just has a few extras. We've got some books. Um, right here in this bin, I just have a few of my like extra little personal things, letters for my letter board. But down here to this shelf, we just have some extra books and I've got my letter board. Um, in this bin right here, we keep some toys for whenever my niece comes to play. That's some of her toys. And then right down here in this bin, Kane is getting ready for preschool. He's gonna start in August. So we've been doing some little learning activities with him. So we just have some books, his preschool cards, and all of that. Got some Ryan's Toy Review Surprise Toys <laughs> stored in there. And in this very bottom bin, I have some extra diapers. I actually need to get rid of these. These are some newborns that my daughter can no longer wear. But I've got some swim diapers and some larger other diapers in there that she will eventually grow into. Now that's pretty much all that stays in that bookshelf. Coming right here, this mirror that you see is a full length and it came from Ross and I just have it stuck there in the corner. I would like to hang it on the wall somewhere. For now, I just have it stuck here in the corner between my bed and the bookshelf. Moving on to my bed. Uh, this is actually a duvet uh, insert that I just took the duvet off of and I got this off of Amazon. I'll have it linked below. I got this throw from Ross and it's just a soft gray throw. Of my pillows, this came from Ross. Uh, what I did for these, these are actually the removable covers. I figured that would be cheaper. So if I get tired of these colors, I can just take the covers off and these are actually removable also. Um, so I can just change the covers instead of changing the whole pillow itself. It's just a lot more affordable to do that. So I got 
these two pillows off of Amazon. They're just basic white pillows. And then I bought the covers off of Amazon as well. And then these right here came from Ikea. The pillows and the covers. And like I said, they come off. So I can change them whenever I get ready. Coming right here to my nightstand, I have a bin on top that I just keep diapers and wipes and things that I may need through the night to change my baby's diaper. I also have a wipe warmer in this top drawer. I keep all of my baby's burp cloths, bibs, uh, just extra things like that. Right here in this drawer, I have all of her sleeping clothes, onesies, and then I'll show you in a second what I do with the rest of her clothes. But this right here is just onesies and uh, pretty much sleeping clothes. Then to the closet, I have my clothes hanging. And I do have some in a drawer. Um, but for the shoes, I have mine and the boys' shoes here in this shoe organizer. And I chose to do this to get them up off the floor and just have more floor space. And I can see better what shoes I have. And they're just easier to grab. And whenever they were all on the floor, I was having to dig to find the match to each shoe. And it was just a nightmare. So I really like having this organizer and I did find this at Big Lots, I believe. Right there in that corner, I have some of Kane's baby stuff. He, instead of a baby book, he has a baby box and that's what that is. I have some of my bathing suits, my undergarments. That's just some board games we have stored right there. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have in the closet. It's my clothes and I have some extra bags and purses hanging right back there. Okay, moving on to my baby's bed. She does not sleep in this just yet, but she will. Um, so I've just left it up and I'm pretty much using it for storage right now. You can see down there in the bottom net part, I have a few extra things. You can't really see it right there, but um, there's just some things that she can use when she gets older that are stuck down there. And I've also got some things kind of stored right there, her play mat. She's got a wet bag for her cloth diapers. I do use cloth diapers, so those are there. Um, but yeah, this bed is not really being used right now, but she is going to use it eventually. She's, like I said, two months old, and I'm going to start training her to sleep in her own bed. Probably around four or five months I'll start, but I'm just not too peculiar about it right now. I'm just kind of going with the flow of what works best for us. So we do co-sleep right now, but she will eventually be sleeping there. So next to her bed, I have our dresser. And this stores the majority of all of our clothes. The top four drawers I have for the boys. And then that bottom drawer is just for me. I have all of my nursing tanks, leggings, etc. Things that I don't really need to hang up is stuck in that drawer. So how I store the clothes is I put things that are seasonal. Right now it's been kind of cold in Georgia. So I have all of their jeans and long sleeves out and store it in the dresser. And in a second, I'm gonna show you what I do with the rest of the clothes that they don't need for the season, how I store those away. So yeah, I did wanna mention that I only keep out what is for the current season. That is what is in all of those drawers. And then like I said, the very bottom is just for me. Okay, so like I said, my kids do have toys. I also wanted to show you guys what I do with the clothes that are not for the current season. So um, right here, I have also I forgot to mention I do not put any of the baby's clothes in that dresser that is just for me and the boys I'll show you what I do with hers um, so what I have done with their toys is I went to Walmart and I actually got a couple of these Sterilite containers that are just easy to stick under the bed they come with lids it'll be easier just to bring you guys down here with me but uh, so I have all of their toys stuck in two of those bins and I know that if they start getting more toys than what will fit in those two containers then it's time to clean out. I think that's just a good rule of thumb for me to have and they are pretty happy with the amount of toys that they have. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you these little containers that I found at Big Lots and no I do not bother to even fold her clothes. These are just some like cloth bin uh, containers with clear zipper lids which I like so I can see what's in there but I keep all of her like daytime clothes 
in these containers and I do have two of these. So I just stuck all of her clothes in those and they fit right under the bed and they do have wheels so they slide easily and I can just pull out whenever I need them and then put it back. Right, right back there in the very back and I don't have to grab for these very often which is a good thing so I'm not really bothered that they're stuck in the back but pretty much everybody has their own bag stuck under the bed of clothes that are for other seasons that we're not currently in these are the storage bags that you can find at walmart i think the brand is called magic bag these are the large ones i think i have two for my clothes and each one of the boys have one for theirs and then Raylan, which is my two month old she has a couple for her seasonal clothes but everything that we are not wearing right now gets stuck in these bags and stored away under the bed so that way we don't have all of these extra clothes taking up space and they're there whenever we need them little area right here <laughs> is serving for some extra storage space i've had people ask me before why don't you slide your bed all the way to the wall and that will allow you more space on this side um and would be true but i kind of like that I can kind of throw some extra things over there and it's hidden out of the way. So that's why I have not slid my bed over. So yeah, that is pretty much how I have this room organized and everything stored so that it's functional for us. And I don't feel like the room is, you know, too overcrowded. It is a little tight, but we still have room to walk. I mean, here's all the floor space, and the boys can come in here. They can pull their toys out, play with them, and then they can put them back. Y'all can probably hear Raylan eating. She's eating right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so like I said, they can just pull their toys out and then put them back when they're done. And I do have a few of my personal belongings and some extra filming equipment stored under my bed. I don't have a whole lot of space under my bed to work with. The clearance is not very much. And some of you have mentioned bed risers that I could use to lift my bed. But if you'll notice, my bed is already kind of high. I've got two mattresses stacked on top of each other because we really needed to get rid of the mattress that was on the floor that the boys were sleeping on before I got their bunk beds. And so I just stuck it under my mattress that I sleep on and it rose my bed some. Um, so I didn't really want to rise the bottom too much because like I said, my bed's already high enough. <laughs> so yeah, but I figured out a solution for the clothes and the toys. I no longer have that tote sitting there. If you guys watched my last couple of videos, you'll probably notice that I did have a tote sitting right there that was holding all of my two month old's clothes, but I actually got them stored away and under the bed now. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said in the beginning, I think that the methods that I used in this room could really be applied to anybody's situation. So hopefully this gave you some inspiration. If you have any questions about anything, just leave them in the comments below. I will try to leave links to everything that I have in the description box as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.